What's going on? Machenga here. I've gotten tons of questions asking how to add storage to the Amazon Fire TV stick. I'm going to walk you through the process step by step in this video. It's super easy, so don't worry. And if you have any additional questions, ask them in the comment section below. First, let's go over what you need to get started and to make it easier. I'll leave all the links below in the video description to everything I'm using in this video. You'll need an OTG cable. These are inexpensive at around $6. You'll need your external USB drive. I like these tiny ones, but there are cheaper ones in the video description. Also, make sure to use a drive that doesn't have any files on it that you'll want to keep. And finally, you'll need your Amazon Fire Stick. In this tutorial, I'm using the cheapest Fire Stick, the Amazon Fire TV Stick Lite. This will work with any of the other recent models as well. Unplug your Fire Stick from the wall and the TV before you begin. Okay, so grab your OTG cable. The end with the micro USB connection plugs directly into the power port on the Fire Stick. Now your power cable that you always use with the Fire Stick plugs into the micro USB port right here on the cable. Finally, the last USB connection is where you plug in your external drive. Once you have everything connected, as I've shown you, plug the Fire Stick back into the HDMI port on your TV, then plug it back into the wall outlet. All right, we're done with the hardware side. Let's jump into the Fire Stick interface and get the software steps completed. Once you're on the Fire Stick home screen, you may see a pop-up telling you about limited device access. We're gonna fix that. Scroll over to settings, scroll over to my Fire TV and click on it. You'll see USB drive. When it's highlighted, you'll see how much external space you have on the drive. Depending on the model of your Fire Stick, you should have the option to format to internal storage. This is exactly what you want for adding apps to the USB drive. If you decide later that you wanna use the USB drive for some other device, you can easily come back into settings, choose format to external storage, click eject USB drive and remove it from your Fire Stick. You'll also see managed installed applications here, but we're gonna access that elsewhere first. Hit the back button on your remote so we can go back to the main settings screen. Then scroll over to applications and click on it. Scroll down to manage install applications. Once it's highlighted, you'll see both the internal space and the external space. This is where we're gonna see which apps we can move to the USB drive. Click on manage installed applications. Now you can see all your installed apps. If you click on all applications, you'll also see internal only and USB only. This tells you which apps are located where on your Fire Stick. So let's leave all applications checked. Now let's move our first app over to the USB drive. Just as an example, here I have Karaoke Party. Once I click on it, I have the option to move to USB storage. Click on it and you'll get this pop-up window. Just wait for it to complete the move. Once it's done and you go back to the app, you'll see a USB icon next to that app. Any app you choose to move to the USB drive will have this icon next to it. Now, I do wanna point out that not all installed applications can be moved to external storage. As you go down the line of apps and click on each one, you'll see if there's the option to move it or not. If you ever wanna check to see which apps are on the USB drive, just click right here where it says all applications then scroll down to USB only. Regardless of which streaming apps I use, I don't stream anything without my VPN. If you wanna make sure you're staying safe, secure, and keeping your personal information private, always use a VPN. I'll leave a link below to the VPN I've used for many years and still recommend. So I hope that was simple enough. Like I said in the beginning, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you out. If you like this video and wanna see more streaming content, hit the like button. If you haven't already and want to show your support, plus be a part of all upcoming giveaways on the channel, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post new content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.